Right guys, I just need to catch you up because I haven't filmed for a little while. I'm the only one in my gym at the moment. And just to explain, where I am right now is Bournemouth. I'm gonna slow down whilst I'm talking to you. I'm in Bournemouth and that's because Panto is over, Christmas is over, New Year is done. Um, I had two gigs since New Year. Uh, I spent a lot of time resting because I was getting ill because of the crazy panto schedule I had and the weather and everyone else's jams. Um, <laughs> so I spent a little time just chilling and now I am back in it and I'm in my next production and uh, that is in Bournemouth down south in the UK and um, what I'm doing is something very different and it's called adult panto or alternative panto. It's very crude, it's a lot of jokes, it's not for anybody who's, who's a bit of a prude you know. Um, because there's a lot of very, very out there shocking things in the, in the show, but it's a great laugh. The guys that are in it with me are a good laugh. Got down here and started rehearsals yesterday. Spent about 10, 11 hours rehearsing yesterday. Just finished rehearsing for another 11 hours today. We've got our first show tomorrow, so there's only two days of rehearsals for Adult Panto. But we sold out already, which is great. So yeah, so I'm just trying to, I'm also trying to, as usual, Keep up, keep fit and stuff. I've got this tiny little gym that I'm in at the moment. And you can see there's not a huge amount of equipment, a couple of little bits. Um, I'm making what I can of it. Still getting my workouts done, so that's the important thing. I hope you had an amazing Christmas and an amazing New Year, because on my vlog channel, I haven't had a chance to say that yet. Good morning. Um, welcome to my new vlog. Uh, you're currently cropped up against the salt and pepper pot in my hotel um, and I'm just about to have breakfast. Um, first show day today. We've done two days of rehearsing, that's it. Sorry, I just got a phone call. One of the guys is running late and his name is Paul and I'm gonna give him a lift in a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so I'm treating myself this morning. I have fire without the hash browns. For God's sake. This makeshift stand is not working for me. And then I'm doing a show later. What's up, Ben? How are you feeling? Awful, lad. <laughs> Awful. What's up? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a video. Oh, okay. oh is it? Oh. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> So, gotta fill you in. Basically, um, just to fill these guys in, I do a little weekly vlog. Right. Okay. So, and I haven't started it until today for this week. Um, but yeah, I'm in Bournemouth. Already did that bit, but I'm in Bournemouth, and we are right now. We've just done tech rehearsal number two, kind of like one and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. yeah, everyone's just sort of getting ready. It takes me ten minutes, so I'm just chilling. Um, you don't need much work, do you, Sam? No. Just, just put my costume. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> just put my costume on. Um, but yeah, so that's that's that. Time and then we're going to attempt to do a show. <laughs> now. We're going to attempt to do a show um, later on today. So, see how that goes. I thought it was an attempt. So, my hat. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I'm still in panto. It is the morning after the first show. Yesterday was very hectic. I think the last clip you've just seen, I filmed in our lunch break. So we were getting ready uh, as we were having lunch and stuff. That we filmed, uh, we, we filmed, we, we rehearsed for about eight hours, I think. And then uh, as we finished rehearsing, uh, the director, Paul, was like, okay, this is your 10 minute call which means you have 10 minutes till the show starts. So we went downstairs, finished getting ready, came back up and started the show. So we did our first show. It was hilarious. It was great. It was completely different to anything I've ever done before. Um, it is completely different. This production is completely different to anything I've ever done before, but it's a right laugh. And I'm looking forward to uh, another show tonight, uh, two shows today actually, but unlike the last couple of days, um, today I don't have to get up at the crack of dawn. I usually have to get up really early and then go to the theatre and rehearse. Whereas today, um, we, we have been allowed to have a lay-in and a bit of a day to yourselves. And then um, we go into the theatre at three. So um, to do our, I think we've got a little little rehearsal and then 
some shows to do. But yeah, so that's, that's cool. I'm excited. I just want to explain throughout Christmas and New Year, as I've said earlier in this video, like I was, I was really ill, um, but I also just haven't really had the bandwidth recently to do vlogging as well as my social media, as well as all the work I was doing and as well as getting myself better. Um, sometimes I think you've just got to shut off. Um, I've deleted the Instagram app a couple of times recently because I don't always feel like being online um, and subjected to seeing everything that everyone posts every day and um, stuff like that. You, you get expectations for yourself, you get um, you get insecurities and you get, I get a lot of shit online as well. Um, sorry. I mean, I get a lot of love as well, don't get me wrong. But yeah, so I just have been a bit off the ball, I would say, through the holiday season. But you know what? Um, I think sometimes that's okay. So, uh, so yeah, I'm back on the ball now. It's the new year. Um, this is my first vlog of the new year. And anyway, I am going to now go and get ready and have a gym session, then come back, shower, change, and go to the theater. Well, not yet, but here we are. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So hang on, just before I uh, go and get ready, I've just found on my phone um, some videos from Christmas um, and New Year. So um, whilst I'm getting ready, I'm just gonna pop them in here um, so you can watch kind of what I go up to. <laughs> Obviously, I did take some videos. Hey guys, it's Christmas Eve in Bolton, and uh, I've just turned up to uh, Exercise for Less, which is the gym I go to here. <laughs> Let me just show you the car park. There is nobody else here. <laughs> Morning. Um, so, I am now in town, and um, I have just been shopping for my lunch, and usually, Christmas Eve, I'd have a bit of like Christmas Eve stuff with mum and dad and Sophie and Tobes and everyone um, at home and probably have like a mince pie and that so I went to Marks and Spencer's and got the most festive turkey sandwich I could get and a mince pie <laughs> um, for my brunch today um, and I've got my secret centre um, which is Mickey Stark I've got Mickey um, and I bought him a house of gin it's like loads of different gins because I know he likes to drink gin um, so yeah, I'm gonna give him that today. But he doesn't know it's me. Two more shows to do, and then I'm gonna head back down to Essex, see the family, and have Christmas day with everyone. Really excited, really excited. Good spirits today. Got me a uh, Christmas sandwich. Woo woo, it's Christmas. So Dave just turned up. David. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. <laughs> What a legend. Oh my god. That is amazing. Dave, are you happy it's Christmas? This, everybody, is Charlie. Charlie has just turned up at the theatre Christmas Eve. Thank you. Oh. Merry Christmas, everyone! Yeah. Secret Santa! Good evening, guys. Um, so, I am on my way home for Christmas. I've literally just been listening to Driving On For Christmas, um, which is, is one of my favorite Christmas songs. Um, but, luckily, so usually when I go and do pantomime in Torquay, we do evening performances only, but we do one a day. So it's an easier schedule, but it means that on Christmas day, I end up getting home at like midnight, even later sometimes. So um, this year, we've had a harder schedule, but tonight, today, we had a three o'clock show, which means I got on the road and I am basically gonna arrive in Essex at about half nine, um, which means I kind of get most of the evenings. My family don't really go to bed till midnight anyway. And I'm so early that they're not even going to be home. They're actually at my nan's, so I'm going to divert, go to my nan's, and yeah, that will be really, really fun. Uh, I've never, I haven't been to my nan's for Christmas for about three or four years um, because I've always been working around Christmas, and they usually do it like you know Christmas Eve or Boxing Day, or and um, the only day I get off is, is Christmas Day. So I'm really excited to actually be able to come and go to my nan's and see my nan and, and do like that little bit of Christmas too. Um, 
so that's really exciting. On to my nan's house, um, really excited about Christmas this year. Um, it's been a hard schedule. I, I have been backwards and forwards and I have seen my family. I only saw my family a couple of days ago, but um, I miss my dogs, I miss my surroundings, my, my home, um, and I love Christmas and always look forward to Christmas, especially this year. Like My brother's been away for months and months and months living in America, and he's uh, back this year, so spending Christmas Day with them. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Bunny. Hello. Sit. Sit. What's this? This way. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Having a, a chilled day with the family. I'm gonna eat my weight in everything, really. Um, that is the plan. Opened some really cool presents this morning, so been a very good boy, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, just having a cuddle with Barney. We're watching Avengers Infinity War. Uh, going to see Robin a bit later and her family. Um, had breakfast. Really looking forward to Christmas dinner though, not going to lie. You alright mate? So guys, just uh, Christmas dinner time. Looks like they're gonna have to roll me back to Bolton. Um, but it is a cracking Christmas dinner. Ah! <laughs> they found it funny. <laughs> hey boy. It's good to see ya. Oh, you want me to throw the ball? That's all you want me for. That's all I'm good for, innit, Finley? Oi! <laughs> So guys, I am now um, away from my mum and dad's for Christmas Day. It's Christmas evening, not Christmas Eve, Christmas evening. I've had a wicked day. Christmas is one of those things that for me, for my family, is like really special. Um, my brother came home from the US for it. Um, my sister is pregnant um, and basically from next year onwards, Christmas is, is I mean, it's, it will still be lovely, but will never be the same. We will, we will never get back like the normal Christmases that we have where it's not there's no baby involved. I'm really looking forward to being an uncle and stuff, don't get me wrong, but um, Christmas being a special thing for us as a family, we won't have those Christmases again. So we've had our last Christmas as me, Sophie, Toby, Sam, um, and my mum and dad. Um, and it's been absolutely lovely. I'm so glad I got back from Bolton for it. I'm just heading off to see Robin for the evening with her family. Um, I'm not filming much of Christmas. I feel like it's a really private, a special thing. Everybody does Christmas their, their own way. Um, and I'm just kind of cracking on and enjoying my weekend, having Christmas with my family, with Robin, with her family, with my loved ones, and just really kind of soak, soaking, it, soaking it all in. So um, yeah, it's been such a lovely day. Massive thanks to my mum and dad for putting on such a great spread and um, the dinner was amazing that my mum cooked and the, the the presents that I got from my, my mum, my dad, my brother and sister and that um, I'm absolutely chuffed with. They know me so well. Um, so that's really cool. Gave them all their presents as well. Um, I've got to give Robin her presents. I think she's got some for me as well, which is exciting. So I've still got to do that this evening. Love presents. Um, it's a good part of Christmas. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm just heading to Haverhill now, uh, which is where Robin is. Um, gonna go see her and then luckily tomorrow I've just found out I don't have a 4 a.m. start I have like an 8 a.m. start which um, I know is still early to most people but having had to get up every morning at like 4 a.m. most mornings recently to get back up to Bolton 8 o'clock is a lion so I'm quite excited about that weirdly enough um, but yeah and then we got a few shows I think it's like 14 shows left but it's two days uh, two shows every day so uh, it's literally one week and then New Year, I'm back in Essex, so it's been a, it's been a crazy panto season. It's back! Alright! Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh! Oh, you look great! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
that was my Christmas and New Year, basically. Um, what I didn't show you is that once I got back to Bolton on Boxing Day, my car just broke. Um, you may have seen it on my Instagram story. Um, but yeah, it started making crazy noises. Um, so on New Year's Eve to get back, uh, I had to get the RAC man to, to come and check my car. And he basically advised me to drive on it, which I don't know if that was a good idea or not. But anyway, I've managed to get the car back. Um, I'm now driving around in Robin's Clio, Renault Clio. <laughs> um, but yeah, so whilst mine's in the garage being fixed, um, and that was all a bit of a kerfuffle as well. But I'm here, uh, I'm in Bournemouth. I'm gonna go and do my gym session. Um, and yeah, and then I'll probably end this vlog here and start the new one. My Bournemouth vlog, solely Bournemouth. <laughs> this is my hotel room. These are all my snacks and stuff. Um, I mean, my bed's a mess. Oh look, I got ketchup on the bed last night. Oops. Um, but yeah, it's my stuff. It's quite nice though. It's nice enough. Um, I really like it. I like it here. It's nice. Right, let's go gym. I need to fill this up. The uh, the bathroom acts as a bathroom slash kitchen for washing up as well. <laughs> in the gym I'm struggling with this gym man it's like the weights go up to 20 kilos at the moment I've been lifting 50 kilos each side on my chest press with dumbbells um, yeah and it's like less than half I'm lifting here so having to do like a million reps <laughs> um, which I'm not showing off I'm just saying I've improved and grown and this gym's not quite cutting it <laughs> But, you know what, they could just not be a gym, so look at the beautiful view of Bournemouth. There we go. Gym session over. <laughs> um, as you can see, I'm making the best of this gym and uh, trying to get all the exercises I'm supposed to be doing done um, without the equipment I need for them. But anyway, um, on to Panto now. I'm gonna go there now. Um, but you guys are gonna have to join me uh, in next week's vlog to, uh, to see what I get up to because uh, I'm going to end this one here. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. See you in the next one. <laughs>